Game of Thrones is a popular TV show among the general public. Some of the show's top villains have provided bits of sound advice throughout its eight seasons. Known for epic quotes and words of wisdom, they have hilarious anecdotes and sometimes poignant meanings inside of them, carrying weight in their eloquent dialogue. Game of Thrones is full of morally ambiguous characters, so a situation can make one's status as a hero or a villain subjective. What advice are we talking about? Are they genuinely good? Here is a list of some of Game of Thrones villain quotes that are surprisingly good advice. At number 16, you're in no place to insist on anything. Lord Roos Bolton, played by Michael Malhattan, is the father of Manacle Ramsay Bolton. He was a man of surprising wisdom and cunning. In the season 3 episode The Climb, he tells Jamie Lannister, Nicola Coster Waldo, that you're in no place to insist on anything. The meaning of Roos's words is that no matter where one is in the caste system, nothing is guaranteed for them. The only thing one can insist on is their improvement to achieve their goals. Next at number 15, everything that happens will be something that you've seen before. Peter Littlefinger Baelish, played by Aidan Gillen, was one of the most cunning players in the game. Littlefinger tells Sansa Stark in the season 7 episode The Queen's Justice in a chilling performance to fight every battle because everything has been seen before. Littlefinger's words, which are both a warning and a piece of advice, imply that everything good or bad stems from something that happened before. One can navigate a situation more smoothly if they're prepared for any outcome that may arise. For number 14, I'm not going to stop the wheel, I'm going to break the wheel. Daenerys Targaryen became a final villain in Season 8 after teetering on the line between protagonist and antihero for almost her entire character arc. Daenerys was wise beyond her years, as seen in the Season 5 episode Hard Home, when she told Tyrion Lannister, I'm not going to stop the wheel, I'm going to break the wheel. To break the metaphorical wheel of power is to rise above societal norms in order to gain influence. With the wheel broken, it not only serves the breaker, but it also serves those around them. You're a Targaryen. You're the mother of dragons. At number 13, the night is dark and full of terrors. Melisandre began as a villain before becoming a final hero. The Red Priestess first spoke the Lords of Light's mantra, the night is dark and full of terrors, in the season 2 premiere. The North remembers, and a fantastic Game of Thrones debut by Carice Van Houten. While these words have a sinister undertone, they are also very perceptive. The phrase is an allegory for how, while life is beautiful, it is also full of unpleasantries that prepare one for the difficulties that lie ahead. You're right about that too. Brown eyes. Green eyes. Next at number 12, do you dare to fly? Unless you take the leap, you never know. Even though Euron Greyjoy was introduced only a quarter of the way through the series, Hilo Asbeck's menacing performance made him a memorable antagonist. In the season 6 episode before throwing his brother King Balin Greyjoy off a bridge, do you dare to fly? He asked sarcastically. You'll never know unless you take the risk. Surrealism and ambition pervade Euron's words. To achieve success and happiness, one must overcome fears and venture into unknown territory, because the outcome is truly unknown unless that leap is taken. Followed by number 11, you need to take your enemy's side if you're going to see things the way they do. Tyrion and Sansa had more in common than they realized. Their marriage could have been very powerful under different circumstances. Tyrion, like his wife in the previous quote, emphasized the importance of understanding one's enemy in order to destroy him. My lady, you do need to eat. I don't want to eat. Emphasizing with the enemy's reasoning, rather than assuming everyone who opposes you is a flailing, single-minded lunatic, is a far superior strategy to charging in sword first and hoping for the best. Next is number 10, Dracarys. Things heat up when Daenerys mentions Dracarys. She uses the High Valerian word for dragonfire to burn down her enemies. Dracarys. Including the Karth warlock Pyat Pri, a swarm of slave ships in Meereen, the Lannisters' loot train, and Randall and Dick and Tarly. Missandei used Dracarys as her final words before Cersei ordered her execution in the fourth episode of season eight, inciting Daenerys to wage war on King's Landing in the upcoming penultimate episode. For number nine, sometimes before we can usher in the new, the old must be put to rest. Kyburn is a naturally mild-mannered character, but is labeled a villain due to unethical human experimentation and his allegiance as Hand of the Queen to Cersei Lannister. His final words before the death of Grand Maester Pycell in the season 6 episode The Winds of Winter are practically a New Year's resolution. Holding on to emotional baggage from the past can stem a new beginning. One can achieve courage by healing from previous pains and setbacks. Number 8. Get some rest, dear. You look appalling. The Queen of Thorns dispensed a lot of spiky wisdom throughout the show, but the simplest was this message to her granddaughter Marjorie to get some sleep and make sure you get enough rest. If you don't, you look terrible and feel even worse. For number 7, a lion doesn't concern itself with the opinion of sheep. 
Tywin Lannister is a character with life lessons, thanks to a flawless performance by Charles Dance. Tyson is a character who is both intelligent and wise, and tells his son Jaime Lannister that a lion doesn't care what sheep think, which is ironic given that the Lannister sigil is a golden lion. People will try to bring others down for a variety of reasons, including insecurity or envy. Humans are their own lions, with sheep representing those with bad intentions. But the strongest of lions will climb the rock with the metaphorical sheep in the background. He's got all this for life. The war is over. The king is safe. The king is never safe. Next at number 6, that's what I do. I drink and I know things. One of Tyrion's most memorable lines came during a meeting with Missandei, Grey Worm, and Varys in Meereen while Daenerys was away. Despite his lack of experience with dragons, Tyrion advocated for their release after learning they hadn't been eating. When asked how he knew that, he said it was one of his specialties to drink and know things. Here's to our queen. Number 5. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. The cryptic quotation was uttered by Ramsay Bolton during one of his torture sessions with his captive. The psychotic villain sliced and diced Theon's body for days for his own amusement. Although the sentence may have far-reaching consequences for the entire series, if Thrones fans believe the show will end happily, they haven't been paying attention over the last eight seasons. Next is number 4. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can. The High Sparrow revealed himself to be a rather two-faced character in his piety. In the season in 6 episode Oathbreaker, Jonathan Price played the High Sparrow, who advised King Tom and Baratheon that a true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can. That's pretty intelligent advice. It means that in life, one must be picky about who they surround themselves with in their inner circle, because all humans have the potential to become leaders in their own right. It is critical to have a wise and trustworthy counsel at hand. At number 3, what is dead may never die. The great joys of the Iron Islands have their own set of rules. During the War of the Five Kings, the notorious rebels declared themselves sovereign, and Euron Greyjoy murdered his brother Balin to lead the Ironborn. They pay the iron price and seize the items they desire. They worship the drowned god and drown their leaders' heads. If they survive, they'll be able to proclaim, what is dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. Second last on our list, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. There is no middle ground. Cersei Lannister is a controversial character who earned Lena Headey five Emmy nominations, but she is undeniably wise. Cersei says the words have become the title of the season one episode you win or you die. While speaking with the Honorable Ned Stark, played by Sean Bean, this has turned out to be excellent advice. Cersei's words are brimming with wisdom. When it comes to the game of slides, one simply cannot take things lightly. Pursuit should be accomplished with as much or as little effort as possible. Last on this list, remember what you are and what you are not. Ramsay Bolton was played brilliantly by Ewan Rion in the show. He was an incredibly sadistic Westeros villain. However, his statement to Theon Greyjoy is one of Game of Thrones' best episodes. Remember what you are and what you are not. Is surprisingly profound in its simplicity. Ramsay intended this as a manipulation tactic towards Theon, but the depth of the quote demonstrates the exact opposite. It means to be true to oneself rather than put on a mask to please others. Which one of these quotes seem to be your favorite? Let us know down in the comment box below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like these.